This is not just another parade through the streets of downtown New Orleans. It is intended to create awareness about a big problem. The Smoke Free New Orleans event was designed to raise awareness about the fact that workers in bars and casinos are still exposed to secondhand smoke in their workplace. In this city known for its food, drink, and fun, second line parades like this one happen all the time. They're a culturally relevant way to get noticed. It's a celebration. We like celebrating life regardless here, and so I think it's a really good way for people to come together in a, in a fun way to celebrate healthy workplaces. Smoking in bars and casinos creates a geographic health disparity, a difference in health behaviors and health outcomes related to where people live or work. We know that there's no safe level of exposure to secondhand smoke in the workplace, uh, that smoke-free workplaces are good for health and good for business. Groups in New Orleans are working together to try to reduce the disparities by limiting access to tobacco. It is an uphill battle because tobacco and the South have a long history together. It's very important, especially in Louisiana, because we still have uh, high smoking prevalence rates uh, here, especially um, in some of our disparate communities. Uh, also, we have some of the weaker tobacco control policies. In many places, those policies mean buying tobacco is cheaper than food. The availability of fresh food is just one challenge creating disparities in New Orleans. There are also issues limiting access to health resources, like canals physically separating neighborhoods, poor transportation systems, and high levels of poverty, all combined to impact the community in a negative way, higher than average cancer rates. Oh, tobacco's huge. Um, tobacco's our biggest contributor to cancer. Um, you know, everybody thinks of lung cancer when they think of tobacco, but so many cancers are related to tobacco. Breast, bladder, oral cancers, uh, and so a huge chunk of our cancers that are preventable are preventable just from not smoking. And as a public health professional, um, I know that over 50% of cancers are preventable or can be detected early and cured. And so the big picture is really to bring down those mortality rates and make sure everyone has access to preventive services. New Orleans is not alone. Many communities, especially in rural areas, face similar challenges. The Geographic Health Equity Alliance will support communities with health disparities to decrease cancer and tobacco-related risk factors. We want to be a driving force helping and supporting communities so that based on your zip code doesn't determine your access to health. The Alliance will disseminate information, tools, and strategies to address tobacco and cancer health disparities. The Alliance definitely wants to make sure um, that people know that things can change and um, that the way one thing has been is not how it has to be. To make positive changes possible, the Alliance will help communities match appropriate intervention strategies with geographic disparities by stimulating conversation and action. Peer-to-peer -peer learning is huge. Um, that level of the interaction, that is a whole different type of partnership where if you can you know, find your partner in the neighboring state that represents a community that's similar to yours, and you can implement some of those same strategies, that's awesome. And, and that's definitely what we want to highlight and really want to instill a sense of hope um, into the states that, yeah, the numbers may look bad now, but there's still time, there's some hope. You can change this, and we're gonna be here to help you do that. To get involved, join the Alliance by calling or visiting the website. <laughs>